thought I would share with you how I made my flower. And I'm actually making this flower to look like a plant. So I've got a container that is going to simulate a planter. And I've also got my bulb, which I'll show you how to make that. So for this project, we're going to need crepe paper. We're going to need 18 gauge floral wire for our stems. And then we're going to need a much finer wire. And this is going to be for our stamen. Let me just show you. I don't know the gauge, but I just bought it at the dollar store. But you can see the difference in thickness. The blue is much finer. We're going to need some white and green floral tape. We're going to need some glue, and I've got clear glue. We're going to need oil pastels. We're going to need our glue gun. You're going to need some little needle nose pliers, but they're optional. Um, a couple of little paint brushes that I've got to apply my pastels. And then for the base, you're going to need some sort of a container or planter. I've got some floral foam, some toothpicks, a natural coffee filter, some moss, styrofoam ball, and an onion. So the first thing that we're going to do, and I know it sounds like it's a, a lot of things um, to put together, but once you see how I create this flower, you can adjust it, make more flowers, less flowers, add, subtract, whatever it is that you like to do. But you can use, and I've got, I've got patterns which I'll post so that you can use them as a guide. And this flower is a little bit more complicated because it has more steps than some of the other flowers I've made, but I think the end result's gonna be really beautiful. And we're also going to make a bud. So I'm gonna make two large amaryllis flowers and a bud for my plant. Oh, and we're also going to need paper towel in order to thicken some of our stems. And also we're going to use it for our bulb. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut out the petals. When you're working with crepe paper, oh, it's almost a perfect match. When you're working with crepe paper, the direction of the stretch is very important. So I've added a little notation on to your, um, onto the pattern or the template so that you know the direction. So, so just keep that in mind when you're working with crepe paper. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna take our pattern. Now for one this flower, you're going to need six petals, and you're going to need three small petals, three large petals. So if you're making two flowers for your plant, you wanna double these. And there's no really easy way. I was trying to find a pattern on the paper that you could use to potentially save some of um, your paper, so I'll post that as well. But, well. but I think the easiest way to do it is fold your little pattern. So this is our small leaf. We're just gonna fold it in half. And then I just fold my paper that I've got, my roll of paper, and your crepe paper may come in different sizes. And I just line up the pattern with the fold, making sure I'm getting as much coverage as I can with paper. And then I'll just put a little paper clip, one, one or two to hold it in place, and then cut out my leaf. 
the crepe paper, it's kind of difficult to layer it because it's stretchy to cut all the petals at once. So this is a little time consuming, but it's not too bad. The other thing that you want to do, and you'll notice that on the petal, there is a top and a bottom, and there's a top and the bottom. So here you go, we've got, we have our petal. So I have marked, so I've marked top on the petal and you want to keep that in mind because this is the top of the petal and I've designed the petal so that it has the greatest surface along because it's stretching this way so we want this wide surface along the leaf pattern because this part is going to stretch and allow us to manipulate that petal so it becomes wavy so if you don't cut it on the right angle you're not going to get the same wave so just keep in mind keep your petals tops and bottoms so then we're going to cut all our petals so now i've cut all my petals the next thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to cut my leaves and the leaves are really simple but i want to cut the leaves now because i'm going to i want to cut all my petals in advance because we're going to have to adhere some wire to the center of the petals and the leaves and we're going to be using just all-purpose glue and this does take a little bit of time for it to dry so i cut everything out first and then i can wire everything at the same time and then move on to the next steps so again we have our leaf pattern so this is for our stem this full length is one leaf this is another leaf and this is another leaf and you can just make copies of your stencil and cut out this leaf then cut out this leaf and then cut out that leaf it just saves time so I just want to strip that's one and a quarter inches wide you would fold that put your pattern on or put your pattern on or simply just cut this much off and then when you open it up you've got a leaf shape and then we're going to cut the middle leaf and the short leaf there is one additional which looks like a leaf but th this is one and a half inches wide it's slightly wider than the leaves and this is going to cover your stem so when you open it up it's like this this is slightly wider because it's going to cover our stem. So we're gonna put this off to the side for the stem. It's going to come later in the process. So now we've got all our leaves, and now is when we're going to use this very fine gauge wire. And I just got this from the dollar store, so there's no gauge on it, but it's very, it's very fine, and I think you can see and what we're going to do, we're going to start off with the petals. So I've got the top of the petal and you just want to fold your petals and you're just going to make a crease along the bottom, just a little crease like so, like that, a little crease with your nails and you see it leaves an indentation. And this, you can't use a glue, so I've tried using a glue gun to do this, and it's just too lumpy. It's not uh, flat enough, the end result, and it doesn't look pretty, so you really need to use some all-purpose glue. And I'm just using clear. And then what you're going to do is you're going to run the thinnest bead of glue all the way down that petal. And I mean thin. Just a thin bead of glue. You see how thin that is? And then you're just gonna add your little wire right to the center, like this. 
you're going to fold it over and then just use your nails to pinch that wire right in between that paper. So you just want to pinch that wire right in between the paper like that. You might want to let it sit for a minute or so to just tack up. Yeah, it's still a little bit wet, but then you're going to open it up. You're going to open it up and just run your fingers to flatten that seam. So this is the back with the wire. You can see there's the back of the wire and here's that front seam. So we're going to need about eight inches of wire. And now we're going to set this down and this will take some time to dry. Maybe half an hour or so packs up a little bit I, I actually come back in and just flatten it out even more so with my fingers just to make sure that that wire is really really secure that's the seam that's how it should look so now that I've got those I'm going to do the same thing with my leaves Fold it over, make that little crease like that. You've got your crease, and this you're going to need a full thin wire because the leaf is so long. Run your bead. Press it in place. Just run your finger along the wire. Just let it tack up and then do the same thing. Open it up gently and then right into the wire. And there's your seam, there's the wire in our petals you're gonna let that dry because we're going to want to add some color to it and I'm going to use some of my pastels but you can't use the pastels on it until it is really nice and dry so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create our stamen and I've done these in two different ways there's this kind of stamen which looks very cute and it's yellow and then there's these guys, which are just a little bit of uh, toilet paper, and then I'm going to color them. So all those little extra pieces of wire you can definitely use for the stamen. So if you're going to do the little yellow stamen, so I'm just making a little loop and I'm just squeezed it sideways to elongate it. So and my little scrap pieces of Paper. and then you're going to take you just want a little tiny piece of paper like that and for the stamen I use the uh, glue stick because it just it softens the paper and it just makes it easier to apply and all I mean you just want to fold it over like that and then with my white floral tape Just want to wrap it around like this around the collar some delicate hands but remember this is that stretchy sticky tape so you just want to pull and twist pull and twist that's not now the stamen are going to stick out of the flower about four inches so once you've got this then you just take the little yellow part and you just bend it over and when you put them all together, once you bend it over, then it gives you this effect, which makes it look quite convincing. If you don't want to use that method, you can take a small piece of wire, just turn it into a little tiny bowl, 
Get yourself a little tiny piece of paper. Use your glue stick. You've got what looks like a little tiny Q-tip. And just color the little tip. I made five for each flower. So now we've got our stamen off to the side. So now our flowers are dry. I wanted to create a lighter effect in the middle of my, and this is totally, you know, your own interpretation. But I'll just show you what I did. So I took my petal and I basically, in the center, I just colored it in. And I took care not to stretch the paper. So now I've got this. It looks a lot whiter on the, the video than it is in real life. So I got this and really I'm just with the paintbrush, you just really want to work that color in. And then I took some green and I just did the very bottom and I made a stripe up the center. Just blended it in. And on the smaller petals, I ran the green all the way to the top. So now I've got all my petals painted, large petals, small petals. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just put together my stamen. So I'm going to use these little yellow guys. So I'm just going to use these little guys and I'm just going to put them at different heights like that. And then I want, I want to go about four inches down. So I've got four inches and then I'm just going to wind them all together. Now we're going to take our 18 gauge wire like this. And we're just going to take the end. Just create a little loop that just becomes an anchor. And then we want to measure about three inches down. So I've marked it with the blue tape. Our stamen just to the end of the loop and we're just gonna wind it around. So there's the loop and we've still got about four inches. And we want four inches because our petals are going to be much longer. I'm just gonna take a little bit of floral wire just to smooth it out a little bit. And now I'm going to take my small petals, inside petals, and I'm just going to line them up. So I'm just gonna line up the bottom of those little stamens with the bottom of my petal, like this. And this is where it's going to be positioned. But first, I'm going to, and now I'm going to take my petal and I'm just going to conform it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the inside of the puddle and in the middle and I'm just going to give it some shape right there, right in the center, like so. So it looks like this. And then remember how we cut this on an angle. We're just going to give it a little press forward, a little press back, a little press forward and a little press back and you're going to get this beautiful ruffled edge so a little press forward a little pull back a little pull forward a little pull back and you really want this to be gentle so that's what your petal is going to look like. And we're going to line up the bottom of the petal with the base of the stamen. 
and we're just gonna wrap it around a bit. So now we're gonna do the same thing to the next petal. We're just right in the center. We're gonna give it a little stretch there. We're gonna give it a little stretch there. And then the petals, we're just going to pull to the front, pull to the back, pull to the front, pull to the back, and it stops there. Same thing, pull to the front, or pull to the front, pull to the back, pull to the front. And you get this ruffled effect. And then we're gonna add the next petal. And these, of course, you want the petals facing in. Hold it, so there's two. Then the last one. So now I've got my third petal. And I'm just going to give it as gentle a twist as I can. I just want to hold it in place until I'm ready to add my floral tape. And we're going to do the same thing with the large petals. We're going to open, centers in, and we're just going to small petals all facing each other, and we're just going to add our large petal in between the small ones. And even use just the tips of your fingers so that you don't accidentally stretch too much because once you stretch the paper, you cannot put it back. Final large petal, that makes six. So now you can see we've got all this messy wire. I'm just gonna add a little piece of floral tape really just to hold them together like this. I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel and you wanna cut about one inch strips. And what you wanna do is just, we wanna beef up, we wanna beef up this stem and make it thicker. So you just wanna wrap Wrap it with a paper towel. And I'm gonna to use two little strips of paper towel. These are one inch by about five inches. If you start on a bit of an angle, so if you start on an angle, it makes it easier to wind it around. Stem. This isn't glued or anything, so I'm just going to add my green floral tape right to here. You could glue it if you wanted at this point, but the floral tape really does adhere very nicely. So we're just going to start at the top of the flower with your floral tape. I'm going to wind it around a couple of times just to thicken it up. And I'm just going to slowly stretch and cover that paper towel as I go along. So you can see you got a nice thick stem that's ready to be attached to another flower. Now, at this point, I'm dying to see what the flower is going to look like. So all I do is, and I'm just going to bend, maybe just give it a little bend a third of the way up like that to open it up. And this is entirely up to you. This is just what I did. This is a little bit difficult uh, doing it. You're gonna do a better job than this because I'm doing it backwards. But this is basic. I just bent it almost 90 degree, but it's up to you. You bend it the way you've got the wire working through it. So you can basically bend the flower however you like. So you can see how much I've got left over. I wanna tighten up the flower a little bit because I want it to be more like this. 
So I'm just going to take some of this floral tape and I'm just going to tighten that up a little bit by adding a little bit more floral tape and I'm just bringing it up a little bit on the collar like that. So now you've got your amaryllis flower and that's it. You're gonna make two of those, this flower, and this is optional because we've already got our collar. But what I wanna do is I want to create some of these little dry leaves when the know. leaves start to dry off. And the way we're gonna do that is either a paper bag or I've got an un, a natural colored coffee filter and all I did was just cut these little leaves and then you just want to scrunch them up and I've got three of them and like I said this is optional but I'm going to take these scrunched up leaves and I'm just going to add them around the collar and this is just going to give us a little bit more of a realistic effect so for this, I'm going to use my glue gun because it's much faster. So you see, I'm just gluing. You just want them to be scrunchy, scrunched up like an old dead leaf. And then I'm just going to add another one. I just want to add it like that. So it really looks like the old leaves are falling off and I think I'll just leave two two leaves like that you could do two you could do three you can see how three looks might be overkill so I'll just do two and then another little piece of tape right over those dead leaves and then just wire just wrap it right over it like that. So now we've got, ooh, look at that. We've got all these little dead scragglers that are coming along and it just gives it one more little element of realism. So we'll put that off to the side. So the next thing we wanna do is we've got our two flowers that we've made we want to make our bud and to make our bud I used one paper towel but basically you want just to turn your paper towel in on itself you just want to scrunch up a ball and we're trying to make an oval shape so like this it depends on how big you want it so one full paper towel and you're aiming to get something like this. So you've got about three inches of a, a bulb and you've got a little bit of a neck. And then to this, you're going to take your 18 gauge floral wire because this is our third stem that we're working on in terms of our plant. And again, it always helps making that. And then once you've made your little egg shape, oops, I just open it up and start adding hot glue. And just glue it until you get the shape that you like. So that seems to be a good shape. So you just wanna cut out some petals like this for the bulb, this shape, and you're just going to really stretch that out so it becomes like a little cylinder that's going to fit. It's gonna fit your bulb right in, you see? like this. 
and you want to make sure that that tip is going to go to the very top of your bulb. So I'm going to add glue to this. So I've added my glue and I'm just going to put it in place. We're, the, our second petal, we're going to open it up, stretch it out. And we want to make sure that it's going to cover every little bit of white, even that little tip. So make sure it's fitted in place. in the middle of my petal like that. And I've got that little loop, the loop, and I'm gonna glue that shut. And then you can stop here, but I'm gonna add, and this is just a little scrap piece of paper. So, that was a scrap piece of paper. All I'm gonna do is open it up like that. And I'm just going to add another layer to it so that it's got all these layers. At this point, I'm going to um, just add a little piece of green tape. So I just added green tape to finish that off. I'm going to take my coffee filter and actually you can make lots of these little with one coffee filter, if you just fold it over onto itself four times or so, there's a little pattern for the dried leaf out of your coffee filter and make these little petals. So here's the little petals. And you just want to crunch them up to look like dried leaves be tempted. So I really want the little leaves to stick out just about here. I want to see a little bit of green. So I'm just going to attach them like this. Well, there, I just put two together. I'm just going to hold them in place with a little with the floral tape. And I'm gonna take a couple of strips of that paper towel, one inch wide by five inches, but it doesn't really matter. And I want to bulk up this stem there. And you just want to create this bulkier, um, the bulk your stem because we're going to actually bend it. It's going to be like this. And we need to fit all three pieces together. So that's why we're making the stem a bit bulkier. And then you just want to take a piece of your floral wire and just wind it around the paper towel. You know, stretch, stretch and pull and I'm just making sure that there's a lot of overlap and you've got your bud, but we're not done yet. So with these little layers, I'm just gonna add some pastel colors. And this is a new flower emerging. So wherever there is um, wherever there is a petal, I'm just gonna come along. So I've just taken my pastel and at the tip, I've just layered it with a bit of color. Then with my paintbrush, I can blend it in. These little layer petals 
you can just open up the little tiny edge like that just to make it ruffled and make it look so look I've just raised those little ruffles and I think that creates for an interesting bud like I said it does look better in real life it's uh the light from the video is really highlighting these things and then we're going to uh bend this because the three flowers are going to be attached this way so so i want there to be about just a little bit of a bend like so maybe just a little bit of a bend like this and I'm going to attach my bud there. Bud. So I'm doing two flowers in one bud. I'm just going to secure these three flowers with floral tape. And I'm actually going to just wind the bottom onto itself. and then attach it with floral tape to, I want to position my flowers so that they are perfectly even and position. Okay. So now I've got the three flowers positioned the way that I like them. So you can see, and you've still, you can move these around and play with them. But basically our stem is now like this. I want to add, whoops, I want to add a skewer to my stem or even two skewers to make this very, very So I'm going to just add it here to the bottom of that flower like this. Okay, like so. And I'm just leaving the end exposed because I don't know exactly. I think this is a good height for my flowers. So these wires were 15 inches long and because of the little planter that I've selected, it works out fine for me. So this is going to be able to fit into my planter, but basically from the stem to the bulb, this is about eight inches long, but you can pick whatever height that you like. Now this gives our flower a lot more um, stability, adding that skewer. Now we have to beef up our stem. And you need to, it's a good idea to keep a vase handy so that you've got something to work with. So for a stem, um, I used a whole paper towel. I just cut it in half. And we want to beef up. We want to beef up our stem. So you want your paper towel to be about eight inches from here to here, because this is going to be the base of our stem. We're not going to go beyond that. Anything beyond that is going to be inserted into the styrofoam ball. Take your paper towel and basically wind it around your stem. So you want to wind it around like that. And you might like this thickness. I'm gonna add another one because I want it to be just slightly thicker. I'm gonna add a couple of drops of glue. I just want to glue. paper towel onto itself. Sure, I'm just gonna add a little bit more green tape. Use a lot of floral tape in this. I'm just gonna add a little bit more floral tape right over that paper towel. So I can now attach the leaves to it and when I pull it back, it's going to be green. 
So I'm going to attach the leaves all the way around here. I've got those little leaves attached here. I just want to cover everything up. Make sure there, you can't see any of the paper towel. So there you go. So now you can see here's these extra little leaves. And then I've got the three stems joined together into one. We've got our stem leaf. So we have our stem leaf. We're going to add the stem leaf to wherever you have uh, an outer edge that you want to see. When you turn it around, it becomes like a little funnel. We're going to overlap it and glue it like this. So I've glued that part. And now I'm just going to take this, I'm take my flower, I'm going to stretch it and overlap it and glue it into place. It's easier to work in small sections. So now you've got your seam all the way down. And now we're gonna take one of those leaves that we've made that has the wire through it. I'm just stretching it out a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here like so and then up here just a little stretch and i'm really trying to make it look thicker than it actually is and what i really want to do is i'm going to actually glue inside here first and i've glued it flat And sometimes the stalk or the stem of the amaryllis is kind of flattish. So that's what I'm trying to attempt. Now that we've got, we've got our seam here, so we're just going to attach our first leaf to the bottom. I'm going to glue it right at the bottom. I'm not going to touch that wire just yet. So I've just glued that first leaf like this. And this is uh, really however it is that you want to do this. But what I've done is I'm doing one long leaf on one side and I'm doing three leaves on the other. And I'm starting, off, I'm starting off with the smallest. Then I'm going to add the next size. And at this point, like I said, you want to um, you want to have your nice seams, the flat seams in. And so you want your nice seams facing in because you're going to be flaring this open. And now is the time to kind of just stretch out that leaf just a little bit in different places. Try and leave this tight. Stretch it out in the middle. Give it a little loop-de-do here and there like that just to create some dimension and now we're going to add the next leaf on top of that small leaf and then I just fold over I fold over the leaf you can see that I'm going to just fold over the leaf and tack it on. See, I'm just going to fold over that leaf there. Two. and then the last one which is the longest leaf and you could certainly leave it with three it really depends on you but I'm gonna add another long leaf to the outside 
and you can see how I've been pinching this in so it's going in and this is flat and we're getting these uh, folds over. So I'm gonna add glue and I've already given my leaf some dimension. Oops. No, I didn't. Go oh, darn it. So I folded them over and you see how you get this beautiful gradation. And we're going to manipulate these and move these around after we actually secure this to our planter. Whew. So that is our amaryllis. I think it looks really great. So now to finish off the amaryllis, we want to put it in a planter that's really beautiful. This is actually, um, it's for a wine bottle. And I actually bought this at the uh, secondhand store that we have here. It's called Treasure Tales. And all the proceeds go to the Humane Society and I love shopping in there. So it's actually silver plated and I cleaned it up and it turns into a beautiful pot. You can find all kinds of stuff. And now let me show you how to make your bulb. Can you take your onion. Cut it in half. And just take your time so you don't ruin. Some of the skins will, or some of the peels will automatically come off. This little end, slice it off and then with a spoon start popping out the center like that it just takes a little negotiating and then you're left with a cute little peel and then you just add them all up put them all together Bowl, which I've just used a popsicle stick in it just to make it easy and we're going to take our onion skins and we're going to layer it going to glue it in place and just layer it like this and you want a number of layers it's I'm going easier to take your onion skin and drape it with glue and then just add it so I'm just adding a bit of glue to here I'm leaving this part open to feed through the wire once I'm done making the flower. I've added my floral foam to the center. So I have my floral foam and I've just cut out a depression. I want my bulb anchored to the floral wire, but I only want it halfway out. Like I've got what looks like a nice bulb and I've still got my stick in here. And of course, this is going to be affixed so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pierce. I'm going to pierce the bottom of my bulb with toothpicks. And I want at least four. I want them really to be very secure to the little bulb. So you can see I've got four using the stick. I can then pierce, I can pierce the foam and as you can see it holds it very well. very well. When I'm ready I'm going to remove the stick. This is really up to you if you want this to look like earth or moss and I'm going to be using this kind of moss. And then I'm just going to take little bits of moss and I'm just going to 
just push it around the bulb. There you go. So that's kind of our bulb planted in our soil. So now that you know how to make the bulb, we want to be able to put this directly through the bulb into our floral foam. And the way to do that is, I'm just going to wind these wires up as neatly as I can and tightly as I can. And I'm just going to cut them off down here. And I'm actually going to, I'm going to add some floral tape to this. I'm gonna start off by using my stick to pierce all the way down, okay? So just adding the floral tape just kind of really makes it easy. And I'm gonna do a test run. And I'm glad I did a test run because it's up too high. I gotta cut it off a bit. So I'm gonna take off an inch. And before I pierce it, I'm gonna add a whole bunch of glue. And now, you want to aim for the center. Oh yeah, oh yeah, worked out great. That worked out great. Oh my God, I think we're done. Let me just maneuver these guys a little bit. It looks fantastic. I love it. And you can just play around a little bit with the leaves and just make them work however you like. My table is an absolute mess, but I've got a beautiful showcase amaryllis, which I'm really pleased with. And this is gonna look beautiful on a holiday table, but I think this is also going to make some really fantastic Christmas gifts when you like to get an amaryllis that never dies. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make the amaryllis flowers. If you try this and you like it, I hope you share it. If you'd like to see more content, I hope you subscribe. Until next time, happy flower making!